Good, okay. So starting with some stretches this morning, we're gonna start with some side stretches. Breathing over your shoulder, feel that lovely stretch in the ribs. Now what's really important as we come up, as you come up, lift the head so the head is really going as tall as you can and then over to the other side. Stretching, breathing into the ribs, breathing in and out, great. And then lifting and one more time on the other side. Good. And then one more time on the other side. And why don't we do it one more time on the other side? And one more time on the other side. Good, well done. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Breathing into the, um, the arms to the side. Feel the shoulders stretch. Feel the shoulders widen, the shoulder blades. You want to think about the shoulder blades widening and just moving the arms a little bit. Again, this is great for ribs. Good, lifting up to the ceiling and then all the way down. Breathing in and breathing out, great. Just for a moment, we'll just uh, pay attention to the head. I'd like you to think about the spine lifting up towards the ceiling and just let the head lift up and float around. I always call it floating, it feels like the head wants to float about, a little bit like it's a balloon and, and it's full of helium. So just let the head float about and just let it go wherever it feels like. This is the important thing about this exercise is that it's the release in the neck muscles that are making this happen. But there's no direction, you're not telling it to go anywhere, it just kind of floats. But it works when you think about lifting, it works when the spine's lifting up towards the ceiling and of course we want to encourage a sense of lift, a sense of openness, a sense of upward and outwards because this helps us think, it helps us be um, present and be in the now and, and be here. Just letting a few more people in, it just it helps us feel more intuitive actually, lots of things. Great, um, moving the muscles in the face. Great, and turning the head from side to side, breathing in, looking over your shoulder, and as you exhale through the nostrils, go into the other direction, breathing in. As you exhale into the other direction, breathing in, and exhale into the other direction. Looking forward and then side to side, side to side, side to side, and side to side. And then lifting through into the height again, just remembering that lovely feeling of the head feeling up and floaty. We're going to drop the head forward and feel that lovely stretch at the back of the neck. Dropping forward. So you'll feel this stretch all the way, hopefully, through the shoulder blades. It's a great feeling. And then as you inhale, you're going to glide the head up. And as you hit the centre, let the jaw drop and then sigh on an exhalation to the ceiling. Breathing in through the nostrils. And then as the chin drops, sigh to the floor. Breathing in. Sigh to the ceiling. Breathing in. Sigh to the floor. Breathing in. Sigh to the ceiling. Breathing in. Sigh to the floor. Great. Moving the muscles in the face. Good. Tapping on the head. I'm going to do a nice little body tap this morning. I think Monday morning it feels like it should be a body tap kind of, kind of time of the week. Tapping on the head, you can go quite vigorously on the head, it's quite nice. Good, gently on the face. And we're gonna work down into the chest and you can do some little Tarzan. Uh, as you do this, onto the shoulders. Uh, under the, under, on the rib cage, on the belly, on the legs, on the thighs, all the way down to the feet, all the way down. <laughs> Good, 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 good. All the way back up again. Onto the chest, Tarzan, oh, onto the shoulders. Give them a bit of a bash if that's what they feel like and be gentle if they don't feel like you want to give them a bash. Great. Nice and stimulated, ready for some centering and focusing. Feet on the floor. Feel that spine in the body. Close your eyes a moment and just imagine and picture your spine inside you. Think of the spine lifting up towards the ceiling, the feet nice and firm on the floor. Just feel the balls of the feet and the heels of the feet on the floor. Just take a moment to connect the ground to the earth. Hands either by your side or on your lap, whichever's comfortable. 
And as you're lifting up towards the ceiling, it's the, this idea of the energy lifting up from the pelvis all the way up to the ceiling. So you're always thinking lift, you're always thinking up, and the shoulder blades are nice and wide and open. So we're trying to create as much space in the body as we can. Space to breathe, space to voice, space to think probably as well. Breathing in and out through the nostrils. Good, let's focus our attention on the air, drawing up through the soles of the feet, up the body to the belly, and exhaling up through the spine, out through the top of the head. Inhale, the breath comes up through the soles of the feet, up the legs, and exhale out to the top of the head. Two more of those breaths in your own rhythm. Good. Now you can have your eyes open or closed, but we're going to stay in this position and we're just going to pay attention to the feet. We're just going to focus on the feet and I'd just like you, as you're sitting here in this lifted position, to we're going to start a hum and I want you to put your attention around the feet. So as you're humming, it sounds a bit strange, but as you're humming, imagine that hum is coming from the feet. So as you're humming, Paying attention to your feet. Mm. On the next inhalation, uh, you're paying attention to the hum on your knees. So inhale, exhale on humming on the knees. Mm. On the next exhalation with the hum, you're paying attention to the pelvis. Mm. Next breath, you're paying attention to the waist and the belly. Mm. On the next breath, you're paying attention to the heart and humming through the heart. Next breath, you're paying attention to the top of the head. Good, breathing in and out. This time as you're humming, you're paying attention to the whole body. Feel that hum in the whole of the body. haven't opened your eyes, open your eyes now. I'll do one more hum and as you're humming think of that sound coming forward out through the mask of the face. Mm. Great, into nice chewing. Mm. And as you're chewing just, just play around with the notes. I always like to think I'm eating something nice and juicy but playful, whatever you feel fancy doing. Mm, this is just to wake you back up again. Um, lifting the eyebrows, scrunching the face, good. Stretching the face, scrunching the lips, good. Mm. Ah, we're going to move on to NG, mm, sound. So we're going to do the, the, the R vowel, we're going to make a long mm, and then we're going to drop the jaw and open into an R. Okay, for the beginning, for these first few, just do the same notes. Choose a note that feels comfortable, a note that you feel that you can sit in and it feels right for you. Okay. Keep the spine lifted and the jaw relaxed. Feel that breath coming from the belly. With each one, let the sound come out even more. Fill the space that you're in. All right, different notes this time. Choose whichever notes feel comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. 
change the note. Change the note. Change the note. Change the note. Good. Clicking with the tongue. Blowing through the lips. And again, if that's difficult, put your fist in your cheeks. Use the range. Good. We're going to hum uh, and then open into R and then OR and then A. We'll do this on a humming sound first. One note to start with. Into more. Start low. And again. Last time. Good. And this time have a yawn. Don't make any sound, but as you yawn, feel the breath come from the body and open up the back of the mouth. So you're just checking that that's open, you're checking it's released. Great. All right, um, we're going to now intone the numbers. So we're going to count, we're going to count in twos, but we're just going to intone on one note. So at the beginning, the breath is, breaths are not going to be very long, but as you progress, you're going to need more and more air. And just notice how you're managing the rib cage, managing the diaphragm and managing the abdominal muscles. Be careful not to tension. As soon as you get tense, as soon as you feel tightness in the body, just be aware of that and try and release and stop if you need to at any point. I don't know how far we'll go. We'll, we'll just see how far we feel comfortable. So intoning, one, two, here we go, breathe in. A comfortable note, a comfortable note for you. One, two, to four. One, two, three, four, to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like a, I feel like a monk <laughs> chanting in a in a in a in a lovely chapel. Uh, to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's one note to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just be aware of any tension creeping in now and breathe. Fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's try to sixteen and feel the breath in your lower back. Feel as you inhale the air really drawing into the back. So you're using the whole of all of this lower respiratory system to help power this sound. Off we go. Breath drops in. Sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And let the breath drop in. That's me done. I hope you've done better than I have. Good. Well done. Have a chew. Mmm. 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 Ma ma ma, ma ma ma. Feel the bright vibrations on the lips. Ma ma ma, ma ma ma, ma ma ma, ma ma ma, ma ma may, ma ma may, ma ma may, ma ma may, ma ma more. 
ma ma mo ma ma mo ma ma mo ma ma mo ba 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 Ma 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 a lovely warm up for a tutor who tutored his flute. Here we go, nice and slowly. A tutor who tutored a flute. Tried to tutor two tutors to toot. Said the two to the tutor, is it harder to toot or to tutor two tutors to toot? And apologies to those on Facebook Live because you can't see the text, but I hope you can pick this up. A tutor who tutored a flute. Tried to tutor two tutors to toot. Said the two to the tutor, is it harder to toot or to tutor two tutors to toot? A little bit quicker. A tutor who tu tutored a flute. Tried to tutor two tutors to toot. Said the two to the tutor, is it harder to toot or to tutor two tutors to toot? Again, a bit quicker. A tutor who tutored a flute, tried to tutor two tutors to toot. Said the two to the tutor, is it harder to toot or to tutor two tutors to toot? Good. Now, as we know, in RP, we tend to say a chew, tutor. Uh, now, in modern RP, a tutor who tooted. But for the purposes of this exercise, we're going for the old fashioned, nice, crisp, sharp, a tutor. A little bit quicker. A tutor who tooted a flute tried to tutor two tutors to toot. Said the two to the tutor, is it harder to toot or to tutor two tutors to toot? Again, a tutor who tutored a flute tried to tutor two tutors to toot. Said the two to the tutor, is it harder to toot or to tutor two tutors to toot? I can really feel it warming up now. And the last time, as quick as you can. A tutor who tutored a flute tried to tutor two tutors to toot. Said the two to the tutor, is it harder to toot or to tutor two tutors to toot? Good, congratulations. Well done, everybody. Thank you very, very much. Um, well done. I'll get rid of that share. Good. Uh, lovely to see everybody. Thank you uh, so, so much. Um, I'm here if you have any questions. Thank you, people on Facebook Live. Um, I think we had four people, so well, hello, thank you. Um, yeah, great. Uh, any comments in the chat, please give it to me. And um, again, I'll be here tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you then.